Hi everybody, this is Emily with Weddings with the Cricut again, and I'm here to show you um, a little project I've been working on. These are thank you cards for different members of the wedding party, and I'm just here to um, show you this project because I think it's really important to single out those people who made your day extra special, who went to the rehearsal dinner, who showed up early, who stayed late, um, everything to make your day extra special. So I kind of think they deserve a little bit more than your typical thank you card. And so I've got three of them done here. I'll go ahead and show them to you. This one is for bridesmaids. Right here. Let's see if you can see that. This one is for a bridesmaid. It's too bright. There you go. With a nice shoe. Um, and all the big elements on here are cut with the wedding solutions cartridge. And then the small elements, this little tag, is cut with the sweetheart's cartridge. So, um, but as you can see on this, I kind of just outlined the outside of this with stickles to give it some pop, and then I put some pretty pearls just to make it look like a really pretty shoe. Um, so there's the first one, and these all match. This one is for the flower girl. And again, you can see that I did some stickles on the outside and for the flowers with pearls in the middle, and then the thanks so much right here. And then this one's for the ring bearer. And here we have everything's outlined again with stickles with the rings. Um, those are made with stickles again with silver ones. And then this is the tag. And so we have three of the four. And so I decided to do, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you how we're going to finish up this project. We're going to make one for the groomsmen. I have a cute little green tuxedo. Um, again, I cut this out of the Wedding Solutions cartridge. And on this one, I decided not to outline it with stickles, just to make it a little bit more masculine. Um, instead, I outlined everything with a black zig pen. And then I put little pearls on for buttons. So hopefully you can see that. And these are really easy to cards to make. Um, and I'll walk you through step-by-step step how I made them. We're going to go ahead and start with a 12x12. 12 12. Let me make sure you can see everything. There we go. Okay, so we're going to start with a 12 by 12 sheet, and we're going to cut it down. I cut my cards at a weird size, and I'll show you just a minute why. I'm going to set this aside for now. Okay, so we're going to cut this down to four inches, and normally I would just fold this in, or score it and fold it in half, but for this card I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to cut off three quarters of an inch. So you want this to be four inches by eleven and a quarter, and then we're gonna score it right at six inches. But when the card opens, it's four by six inches wide, and let me show you why I make it this size. Um, I buy my wall, uh, my envelopes for my regular cards, not wedding invitations, but regular cards at Walmart or Office Depot. It's just these embassy white invitation envelopes and they changed the size. They're no longer your standard A2 size. Let me show you what it says right here. This says new larger size fits 4 by 6 photos. So it's actually wider than the old envelopes used to be. I like these because if you make your cards 4 inches by 6 inches you can fit 3 of them on a 12 by 12 sheet. You just cut 4, 4, and 4 and that will make three cards and so it saves you a little bit of money actually in the long run. My purple paper and I already made a few of these so that's why I have a scrap but you want this one to be exactly five inches wide just like that and you want it to be three and three quarters tall and then you can take it then you're going to take this sheet, throw that away, and I emboss it with my cuddle bug. I'm using the lace right inside there. So I'm just going to tape my tape bag. Tape this on the I meant to mention the pattern paper is five inches wide exactly, just like the top piece, and then it's one and a half inches tall. So if you're wondering the measurement on that, 
and I fold it around and then you see it sticks to that tape and then I go over it again so it makes like a little sandwich. So that's how I do that. Right on top. So there's the base of my card right there. And then I need to embellish it a little bit. So I have my little tuxedo guy who I think is so cute. Gray is my current favorite color in weddings, which is why I made his tuxedo gray. Because to me, gray tuxes are just so classy. I just think they're so pretty. And you could use dimensionals on that too. It doesn't really matter. Um, I use dimensionals actually on all the other ones. I forgot to on this. But that's okay. Okay. And then to finish this off, we have these little guys that I cut out of a light purple and a darker purple. This is that. This is called card of the card. the bottom third and left. Um, I, go. I use all the time. It says And then there's one more touch. Oops, sorry. Forgot to do the edge. So for your edge, my Martha Stewart lace punch. Okay, so I just took my Martha Stewart lace punch and cut a little border and I'm just going to trim off this side just a little bit. And then we want this to be exactly four inches tall as well go right on the card then I take my ATG so this makes the the guy's card a little bit girly but if, you, if they were at a purple wedding it's a little bit girly anyway so that's this card, and so that completes this set. And so um, anytime that you have somebody who really goes above and beyond for your wedding, or um, it's just part of your wedding party, like your guest book person, your pastor, anything like that, I think it's just nice to make a little, oh, we forgot to outline that one in the stickles. But I think it's nice just to kind of make some, like a special, more than just your regular, thank you card for them something extra special because they do take their time to be a part of your wedding and to stand up there with you and be in your pictures and you know make the toasts and help out however they can and so um, I think it's important just to kind of recognize those people in a special way so anyway, I'm just outlining this in, I think it's called diamond stickles, and I'm almost out. Which is why I'm shaking it a lot. I decided I need to take out stock and some embellishments like stickles because I use them so much, and black gel pens. Let's see. Oh, this is called frosted lace. Sorry, it's not called diamond. It's called frosted lace, but... There's my lovely tuxedo card all ready to go. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this project and we will see you again.